Can you believe it's only been like less than a month and already the Arkham Trilogy is on sale? So basically, if you've been on the fence about getting the game, it's time to get off the fence. Because the Batman Arkham Trilogy is only $39.99. I know, that's crazy. So I've been going over comments on this channel for quite a while, and a lot of people are very hesitant to get the Arkham Trilogy because they're like, well, I don't want to pay $60 for two great games and a buggy night version. And I totally agree. But what if I were to tell you, now you can pay $39.99 for a limited time. So you get two great games and still a buggy mess. But just know that a patch is being worked on, so it's likely that down the road, Arkham Knight will actually work on Nintendo Switch a little bit better. Now, I've actually played through the entire game of Arkham Knight, and uh, it was a mixed bag. It really was. Something that I never want to do ever again. Though I do have some upcoming streams in January where we'll be finishing the DLC for Nightwing, uh, Catwoman, and Robin. So there is still content for that game coming, as well as we have to pick our winner who entered our giveaway. So um, don't think that we're done with the Arkham Trilogy just yet. And of course I do really love playing uh, the challenge maps, but uh, I won't be doing the DLC Batmobile races because... Well, I did that when it first came out, and, well, um, I don't need to remind you how bad that was. But still, I find it very interesting that Warner Brothers and Nintendo have already uh, slashed the price on a $60 game this early. Usually what happens with price slashes, uh, that usually occurs, like, later on in the game's, like, release time. But literally, we are, like, it came out on the 30th. Um, we're not even, like, 30 days. It hasn't even been a month yet. So, I mean, Nintendo really wanted to get that price slashed in time for Christmas, which makes sense. But here's the thing. Um, Hogwarts Legacy has been selling like hotcakes to muggles everywhere, right? But uh, the Batman game hasn't really been getting that much traction. And some of that is YouTubers' fault, uh, especially bringing attention to the woes of Arkham Knight. Not to dismiss what YouTubers did, because I did the same thing as well, because it was the right thing to do. I mean, a lot of people have been looking forward to playing Batman Arkham Knight on Nintendo Switch, and it just, well, didn't pan out. Now, there are things they probably could have done to make the game run a little bit better, like getting rid of the awful rain mechanic, which just makes the game look terrible and kind of a sputtery mess, because we know that the game actually does run pretty well when it's in a self-contained area, like Batman goes inside of a factory, runs around the movie studio dealing with Harley Quinn's thugs, and, you know, whenever he's not in the rain or the snow, the game tends to run all right. So the reason why Arkham Knight has problems on the Switch is not only was the game not designed for basically a souped-up PS3, sorry Nintendo Switch, but also the fact that, you know, the game has no loading at all. Um, see, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and even Arkham Asylum cleverly hid loading screens um, throughout the game, whereas Arkham Knight is this massive environment that is supposed to be interconnected, so there is no loading screens. You hop in the Batmobile, you go from point A to point B, you go to Miyagami, you go to Founders Island, all that's supposed to be seamless. Now, Nintendo Switch requires loading just a little bit in order for the game to work well, and since Arkham Knight never had any of that, well, you're going to run into problems with that. Even Hogwarts Legacy has clever little um, loading areas that you're probably not aware of, but that's because the environments are so big. Now, if they didn't have that, then maybe you would run into similar issues like Arkham Knight and Hogwarts Legacy. But thankfully you don't, and Hogwarts Legacy is one of the best ports on the system in 2023. Still, it's important to realize that a lot of people have said, hey, I don't want to pay $60 for this game because while I love Arkham City and Arkham Asylum and I want to play on the go, Arkham Knight just isn't worth it because I'm. it's like I'm paying for like 60% of, you know, 100% uh, collection, and I get you, and I'm right there with you, but we don't know how long the sale is going to last, so if you are at all, you know, considering getting Arkham, uh, like the entire trilogy on the Switch, which I still say is worth it, just for Asylum and City alone, as well as all the uh, additional stuff you can do in the city, like if you want to 100% complete Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, you can. Although, collecting over 400 plus Riddler trophies in Arkham City will probably drive you mad. But, um, you know, uh, the Batmobile stuff in Arkham Knight is definitely going to make getting the Riddler stuff very, very challenging. In fact, I haven't even done that. But, um, I just want to give props where props is due. So, Amber and I have no horse in this race. We are not sponsored by Nintendo or Warner Brothers. 
but we are happy when gamers have the ability to save money. So that's why this video was made. Uh, there's no compensation from Warner Brothers. I've been blacklisted so long that, you know, my beard would be like down to probably my few chest hairs I have. So, you know, it's not like I'm here being uh, corporate chill telling people, Hey, Warner Brothers told me to tell you the game's on sale. Actually, it was our viewers who let us know that the game is on sale. So we're just echoing what they said so that you can go pick up the game if you want to. Because, I mean, it's a great price. It's two great games and one game that is there, um, which is somewhat playable. So, But you can't beat that price of a brand new title at just $39.99. Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. For a limited time. Um, now, where can you get this game at that price? Well, I'm glad you asked that voice in my head. Um, you can actually go to the Nintendo Switch Online service and download it there, so the Nintendo eShop. Um, from what I've seen, GameStop uh, has the game for $39.99. They slashed the price along with Nintendo. And either Best Buy or Walmart. You'll actually have to go into, you know, the store itself and ask them. But I believe places do do, like, price matching certain stores if you can find the game cheaper somewhere else. At least that was a thing in the 2000s. I, I don't really leave my house very much. If I can't buy digitally or off Amazon, I tend to not leave my house. Not just because of the pandemic, it's just because I'm lazy as all get out and I really don't like going outside. Um, if I can actually order it from my house and it's convenient, then I'm going to do that. Um, you know, skip going for walks and breathing fresh air. I'm just going to sit on my office chair and maybe open a window if I... No, don't, don't live like me. But um, you can actually go and pick up the game if you want a physical copy of it. Now, just bear in mind, okay... You're going to need a lot of space for this because Arkham Knight, if I remember correctly, is over 25 gigabytes and took about four hours to install. Arkham City is around 11 gigabytes and took about an hour to install. And then you can, if you get the physical copy, then you can play Arkham Asylum right on the disc itself, which, you know, isn't really going to be a headache for you at all. Or you can download it for about seven to eight gigabytes. So when you download all those games together, that's a hefty amount of, you know, space on your Nintendo Switch. So if you don't have like a special little Switch SD card that's like 256 gig or... I don't even know if they do a terabyte. I haven't really uh, paid attention to that. But, um, you know, if you want a little SD card that you can actually move stuff over to because that's going to take up a lot of system memory. Also, I know a lot of people have said, well, you know, the game actually doesn't run very well um, at all. Well. I actually freed up a lot of system memory for my system by erasing save files that I'm never going to use again. Which, by the way, save files on Nintendo Switch take up a lot of space. There are some LEGO games that are a gigabyte. I kid you not. As well as uh, Nintendo Switch Online for the N64 is over a gig, which is insane. So anyway, I freed up about 2 gig of memory on my system memory on the Switch. And I noticed that Arkham Knight like played a little bit better not perfectly not anything like asylum or city but the game ran we'll say a little better the sputters were a little bit less now i don't know if that's because you know i freed up my system memory or uh if the game actually received its patch that supposedly is happening and yes the patch is on the way for city and night we just don't have a clear timetable of when it's going to release but just know that Turn Me Up Games is not going to leave you guys in the lurch because they've already um, improved the performance of Arkham Asylum, which they didn't need to do because actually Asylum played really well, like just during the PS3 days. So, I mean, I, I don't understand why they needed to improve it a little bit more. It seemed to be fine because I remember playing Asylum in the game being not a sputtery mess, but having its moments where, you know, a little bit of screen tearing, a little bit of uh, not texture popping, but like kind of slow down. You know, dropping frames and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it was still a great experience. But definitely City is the game that I've spent the most time playing on Nintendo Switch. Especially on the go. Game works great, portable. And, you know, in hindsight, I really wish I had an Amazon store. Because I could redirect you guys to that and say, buy this game over here. But I can't do that. But anyway, happy hunting, people. I hope you're able to get the Arkham Collection for a price that is more... Uh, tantalizing for you in the comment section below let me know if you're excited about the fact that the Arkham Trilogy is already on sale already uh, and if you're gonna pick it up or not I mean I think the game will look cool in your collection that's just me 
I'm a collector, so I like to buy games whether or not I play them all the time. I try to cover as many as possible, but I am a game collector. And uh, the box art is nice. I, I like how it looks, and um, it looks really nice in my Switch collection. But yeah, so anyway, people, uh, keep it locked here, as uh, we'll be releasing later this month, the remainder of the month, doing a video on our top 10 least favorite games. And then into uh, 2024, we'll be talking about our favorite games of 2023, which Amber and I have a difference of opinion on. So that'll be interesting. But um, yeah, see you guys later today with an awesome uh, Arkham Origins live stream as we start to wrap up the game. And just a reminder, we will be doing the Cold Cold Heart DLC on New Year's Eve, so make sure you tune in for that. All right, guys and gals, just wanted to let you know what was going on in the world of Arkham Trilogy and that the game is actually worth your time if you were on the fence before. Till we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Be seeing you.